You know, I really like tea. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a very exciting video. Uh, I don't know if exciting is the right word for it, but guys, I have a very special video. I need to get out very quickly to talk about this. Um, so last night, Team Fortress 2 dropped a brand new update on the game. I made a video about it yesterday, the, uh, the summer 2019 update, whatever, brand new cosmetic case, nobody cares. Um, but when they dropped that update and they fixed some bugs and stuff, they broke the game. They actually broke the trading system. Valve broke Team Fortress 2, and let me explain how. So all of a sudden, you know how there are supply crates in the game, right? Like I have several that in my own account that I've just listed on the uh, market, and they've just been sitting there dormant for months now. Um, hold up, let me find them real quick. The Manco Supply Munition Series 92, right? So there's a bunch of crates like those. There's a lot of different series, but two series in particular right now, um, series 82, 85, and I think some of these other ones as well, these are all, the prices are all going up on these. Not for 92, but for these series right here. 82, 85, probably series 8 and 7 as well, judging by the prices. And why is this? I will tell you the reason why. When Valve updated Team Fortress 2, they broke the drop rates for these crates. Every single one of these crates, when you open them now, gives you an unusual item. Every single time and overnight the value of unusuals has plummeted unusuals that cost like 50 bucks 100 bucks 300 bucks they're now less than 10 dollars a piece it is crazy what has happened we haven't heard anything from valve or the team fortress 2 team yet uh talking about this i apologize for that that was my paypal account i'll blur that out um but anyway we're i'm actually going to look it up right now sorry for bumping the mic i'm really excited I'm actually going to look it up now, see if we can find like Team Fortress 2 or Valve, see if they've got a statement out on this, because uh, this is a pretty big deal. This is actually a pretty big deal. Hold up. Team Fortress 2. Hold up, guys. Hold up. Um, Yeah, there's an actually... There, okay, here we go. Dev, Team Fortress 2. Okay, so they have an actually... Yeah, new, they just talked about the new cosmetics. They're not talking about any of this at all. There hasn't been any word uh, out of them from, uh, from this whole sh Shazam. So um, this is probably going to be patched in a couple of days, if not even sooner. I'm sure they're working on the problem really quickly right now trying to fix this because it's destroying the hat economy, right? Everybody's unlocking all these unusuals, and the hat economy in Team Fortress 2 has been destroyed. People paid hundreds of dollars for these hats. Are, they're now worth only a couple of dollars, right? It's crazy. You've never seen this before. The economy of this has just broken, and the effects are going to be are going to be crazy. Like, you can see these crates that keep fluctuating up from around $3, a little bit low. See, this one just now went up to $4 almost. Now it's back down to 3 It's crazy, right, guys? It is absolutely bat barf insane. So I'm actually going to buy a couple of these crates and a couple of keys, and we're actually going to see um, how this goes, how all of this works out, um, because I'm curious. I want to see what actually happens here. So, uh, so yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, we're going to see how this... Um, okay, so we got, we got an A2 series crate. Um, I'm going to buy a key as well. I'm actually going to buy that in the game because it's cheaper that way. But, like, this is crazy, guys. You can get an unusual, um, you can get an unusual for, like, pennies on the dollar now. And it's destroyed the economy. And what I'm thinking is, um, yeah, 264. I think a key's only, like, 250. What I'm thinking is, uh, once it gets out more in the news that this is happening, this might possibly affect other games' economies, like Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Defense of the Ancients 2. People might start losing faith in Valve's ability to keep their markets under control because of little bugs like this. Then again, it might just be a one-time thing. I might be blowing it way out of proportion. Um, but yeah, the implications here are absolutely crazy. Also, it's funny too because I have actually never opened a crate before, so this is going to be my first time. But I mean, when there's a guaranteed unusual, you know, why, why the stink not? Oh, did I get a new item? Yes, Series 82 crate. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab a key, guys. And um, I'm going to show you guys right away. You can get a unusual just by opening this. Okay, so I finally found the Manco Supply Crate key. I don't know why it didn't come up in search. 
but uh, here it is, it's 249. I was like, when did they take this off the market? So that was weird. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna buy this. Um, check out, nope, I don't want some extra goofy hat. All right, go ahead and grab that, thank you. Thank you kindly. All right, but yeah guys, this is pretty crazy. I'm still having a hard time believing this is happening now. Certain people have been saying on the internet that you will get trade banned or that Valve will remove these unusuals from your library if this happens. This is an unprecedented event, really, but I don't think that's going to happen. You're definitely not going to get trade banned. Anybody who's telling you that doesn't know what they're talking about. Uh, will they remove it from your inventory? I don't really know. They might remove unusuals that have come out in a certain amount of hour and then reimburse people for an estimate of how much they're worth. I don't really know. I don't even think that's going to happen. But uh, but yeah, it's it's just crazy. It's crazy to think about. They might they might do nothing, but then their economy is going to be in shambles. So who knows? But I'm going to go ahead and open this, guys. And uh, yeah. And there we go. An unusual FRO. Unusual effect Miami Nights. That is crazy. So cool. All right. Again, first ever unboxing I've ever done. Tradable after Friday, August the 2nd. Own this one-of-a-kind piece of memorabilia from the classic 70s film Blackston Hale vs. Black Howl 9000. What is this actually? Oh, this is a Demo Man thing. Okay, hold up. Let's see what this actually looks like on the Demo Man. Um, oh, so it's a hat. Oh, and it's got shiny stuff behind it. <laughs> That's kind of cool. That is very cool. So, yeah, I guess I have an unusual now that I can use in live stream. So, yay. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, so unusual items once the most expensive items in the game are now worth next to nothing because of all this crap that's going on in the uh, in the Steam community and the Valve community and the Team Fortress 2 community, excuse me, because of all this stuff that's been going down. Like, look at this. Well, oh, actually, yeah, look, look at this right here, right? Two day, well, a few a week ago, twenty one bucks. This unusual is worth 21 bucks. Now, seven dollars. Seven stinking dollars, which is actually still more than what I paid for this, so I actually profited a little, so. I'm not gonna lie, that's kinda cool. Oh no, never mind, never mind. Four dollars and 22 cents. Okay, yeah, no, this is worthless. This is absolutely worthless. This is, this is about what I paid for it. A little bit less, actually. So, uh, so that's crazy, but yeah. Like, something that was worth 20 bucks, now worth like four, right? It's crazy the kind of stuff that is happening now. Unusuals are going out left, right, and center. They're not worth anything anymore. Uh, it's it's pretty dang crazy, guys. So um, I assume in a couple of days they'll update this and they'll say, hey, um, you can't do this anymore. And then the crate price will plummet once again because people have bought all these crates and now they're not longer worth anything because the drop rates are the same. But uh, yeah, there'll just be all these unusuals on the market that were no longer there before. and. I don't know what's going to happen to them. Is they just is the market going to be permanently saturated with unusuals? Is uh, is I don't I don't know. I just really don't know. Are they, is Valve going to remove them because and then give people their money back? So they're going to be some big outcry. I don't really know, guys. One thing's for certain though: Valve's market is completely <laughs> now right after after this. People probably aren't going to buy a whole lot of crates anymore. They're, or keys, they're really not. In fact, right now, they're getting kind of a boom because of all these extra key sales, if nothing else, because people are actually unboxing a bunch of crates at once. So that's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, this new, this new update, you know, they add a new cosmetic case, hoping to make some money, and uh, it turned into this. So, wow, I don't, I don't even know what to say. But yeah, Valve messed up, they broke the, uh, the game, the economy, and uh, I'm really excited to see how this turns out because I've never seen anything like this before. This is like crazy. So yeah, for those of you who out, out there who want to go ahead and get one of these, uh, go for it. People will tell you don't because it's breaking the economy. They're right. But um, so what? You, you, can get a, you can get a cool hat for pennies on the dollar. I don't, you're going to ruin the economy. What difference does it make? You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't see why it's that big of a deal as what people are making out to be. You won't get trade banned, that's for sure. And you definitely, I don't know if they'll remove the items from your account later down the road. I guess only time will tell. Um, but yeah, it's crazy to see how this has developed. So w way, way more than what I thought. Like even last night when I was making that uh, update video, I thought there might be a few new bugs that are introduced with this, but I didn't anticipate anything like this. 
So, yeah. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. I uh, hope you found this useful. hope you found it enjoyable. If you want to go get an unusual, uh, knock yourself out. Um, or don't. I don't care. <laughs> but, um, but yeah. So, this is, this is pretty big. This is, I don't know how Valve's going to handle this. I don't know how TF2 is going to recover from this. But uh, it's crazy. It is pretty dang crazy to think about. So, thank you again for watching. Till next time, I am your host, Cascarte Utica, and this has been a video on the Team Fortress 2 uh, hat drop economy and all that crap. And until next time, I will see you all at the top. I, I,